Hi everyone, how are you all today? So, um, in my quest to make the perfect wand, um, as you recently know, I've started making loaded envelopes. I'm just about to take part in the Valentine swap on the loaded envelope galore group. And I saw these wonderful ones the ladies have been making. And my trial ones left much to be desired. So I wanted uh, to find something that would make me on the right track to making these beautiful ones. So I've had a go. I found these. Um, they're actually domes. Let's see if I can get some paper. They're actually domes that you get for putting in cards. So, you know, you'll get your card, you put it there, and it'll make like a 3D scene inside, whatever, shake, shake a card. Uh, and I thought, oh, I could use those. So you get circular ones and oval ones. Now, they are quite large. This one's got to be over three inches. And this one, oh, I don't know, I'm not really sure. But you can see the size there. So I did battle about with it a bit. Uh, I didn't have much items to fill uh i wanted like little things to fill in but I'd, i made do with what i had and i've come up with this wand so i'm going to show you it's one of the santan is it santanoro girls and it's a shaker wand so because it's valentine's day swap i've put in little tiny shaker hearts uh and much to my annoyance I cannot get this one to shift, but it's looking like a bit of an earring, so we're going to have to go with it. So, um, with much trial and error, um, I filled it. What I did was made, cut out a circle at the back, and I pop dotted up and added extra flowers for dimension over the existing picture, if you can see here and here. And... The picture inside does actually has got sparkly bits on and it is a pretty image. So and then I've added my shaker sequins. I didn't want to add too many. And uh, I've stuck that to the circle. Uh, I don't know whether I've done it the right way around, but I did actually add this trim to the outside after that. And I've added this trim before I added the back piece. Now, because it was a quite a large wand, uh, a straw just wasn't going to cut it. And I didn't really have anything suitable. I had some thin cocktail, like barbecue sticks, but they again were too thin. So I've ended up hot gluing three lollipop sticks together and I covered them with washi. Uh, you might be able to see it said it's like a grey washi. And then I've added this sequin trim to the front and the back. And I may add some more ribbon, maybe some red ribbon. I've added some glitter trim there, like eyelash trim. Uh, so I think it turned out pretty okay. And I can't wait to try some more different ones. And I'm I'm a bit short on laces and things. So I will have to get some more of those, but I can't wait to make more of them. So I, I've got quite a lot of these so I can make lots of ones, but they are going to be really quite big. So, but that's okay. People can have a big wand. So that's my new wand. Uh, and I picked up this today from the works. It is actually... A full size mask, uh, and I don't know whether to leave it just white. It is a decorate your own mask, but it's made of like a hard plasticky. And I've got a, an idea that I want to make something like a masquerade loaded envelope. So, watch the space for that one. I'm going to actually maybe add the stick or make that into sort of like a wand, but have the stick here because that's what you would hold to take these strings off and then add that there so that's another idea i've got for another loaded envelope but the loaded envelope that's going to contain this 
I think I'm going to have to pack this separately. It's, it's ridiculous. My lead, my envelope is that loaded. The envelope is starting to come to pieces and I've had to hot glue the corners where the pockets are because they've actually started to come apart. So it's trial and error. I'm loving making these loaded envelopes. And uh, I wanted to join the Marie Antoinette swap as well, but they take a lot of time. So I can only do the Valentine's one, I think, on this occasion. And maybe I'll ask for a, another swap with somebody another time for a different one. But that's all for now. So try these. They're just the circular or the oval domes that you can get for making shaker cards. And you should be able to get them online. Uh, just type in transparent domes. Uh, there is, uh, you can get them from Hunky Dory website in the UK. They also deliver internationally. Um, or you should be able to get them in a shop near you because everybody should have those because lots of people make these domed shaker type cards. So have a look and we might be seeing some rather large ones in the future. But might, they might be quite nice. I'm looking forward to making a few. And I'll be back when I've made some more. Bye for now.